Hi guys, it is Max here, and I'm back with another video. Again, I'm going to be doing another um, experiment video. As you can see, I'm on the editor right now. Um, the first one has gone down quite well, I think. Uh, it's got a lot of views. It's got 73 views already, which is a lot quicker, a lot more views quicker than my crew save and my journeyman save I've done. So thanks to everyone who has watched that first video um, about Ian Holloway. Um, if you haven't watched that, then it's my last video, so go and give it a watch. Um, but yeah, it's only got one like so far, so I'm not really sure if you are enjoying this. So please, if you do enjoy these videos, please do leave a like, because it obviously shows that people are enjoying them, so I will carry on. But this will be kind of a test video, so if this one doesn't get many likes either, then I won't do any more of these, and I'll just carry on with my crew save. Um, but today... I'm going to be doing, as you can see here, the other day, Pepe Mel has been appointed as the new West Brom manager, um, so I'm going to do one with him, put him as the manager of West Brom, and basically see how he does. Um, now obviously it's not going to be too realistic, because he's just joining now, in the middle of January, and obviously the experiment will start at the start of the season, but I still think it will be quite interesting to see how he'll do, and what happens there so here we are guys I have used editor to make Pepe Mel the manager of West Brom as you can see here he's got some very good stats to be fair to him looks like a top top manager um, so now I will holiday the first season we'll see how he does and so I'll see you in just a couple of seconds so here we are guys the first season's finished so let's see how our friend has done in its first season at West Brom. Oh, well as you can see, it's not going well from at all. Coming 19th in the league and getting them relegated by a long way as well. Only getting 21 points, just three wins all season. It's absolutely dreadful. Minus 37 goal difference, 19 points from safety. Surely he hasn't kept his job. No, Martin O'Neill is now the manager. Let's have a look, first of all, at the fixtures, so we can have a look how he actually did fixtures. Look at that, absolutely awful. Losses after loss after loss after loss. Did all right in the cup, but got to the sixth round, but then ended up losing to Liverpool. Uh, League Cup, he lost in the third round to Charlton. So he's not doing very well at all. Let's have a look at him. And see how, um, when he got sacked. And whether he has a club. If we go on managers. Here we go, he got sacked on the 14th of December. I'll just go back and see where that was in the fixtures. 14th of December is there so he got sacked after the Norwich defeat but then straight they didn't really improve very much after that to be honest they improved a little bit there with a few wins and a few draws but mine O'Neill couldn't really do any better than Mel did so let's see where he is at the moment so he at the moment doesn't have a club he hasn't got a club um, no one else has decided to take him on as the manager I'm going to holiday another season, and we'll see if he gets another club, and if he doesn't, then this is going to be a very short video, so I'll see you in a bit. So, here we are guys, at the end of season 2, and um, so let's check out if Pepe Mel has managed to get himself a job. So here we are, he has managed to get a job, he's got the management job at Watford, and um, let's have a look when he got his contract, he started off in October so yeah October so quite near the start of the season so let's have a look how he did so we managed to get Watford to 13th in the championship not amazing to be fair but obviously not as bad as he did that in his last job let's have a look how West Brom did without him start off West Brom came 8th in the league, so obviously not doing too well, but not doing too badly as well. Managed to just miss out on the playoffs, 
Wolves, Forest and Wigan going up. So let's have a look how Mel's new team did in the cup competition. First of all, oh, I forgot the first season, I just realised I forgot to look at his transfers he made for West Brom. But we'll look at the transfers he made this season for Watford. He's brought in a lot of players, brought in Steve Cook for £1 million. Uh, looks a decentish player, defender. Brought Danny Drinkwater, who I know is a very good player. Uh, Leicester at the moment, but he's a good signing for what, just £1 million. Uh, Food tax odds from Leicester, decentish player again. A few free transfers and loans as well. Uh, Sam Vokes, also a very good signing for just over half a million pounds. And then he sold McGugan to Wigan for £2 million, Angela for £2.1 million, Logan for £1.8 million. So he's made the club £10 million pounds worth of money this season. So he's done well on the transfer market. Managed to get them to finish in 13th. And he's kept his job. So I'm going to go one more season into the future. We'll see how he does. First of all, if I forget, we'll see how he did it in the cup. I keep forgetting to do things on this. I forgot to do the cup runs on the Millwall video and then I forgot to look at his transfers in the first season. He lost in the League Cup second round to Tranmere and he got into the sixth round of the FA Cup but then lost in the replay to Spurs. He then, let's see how he did against West Brom, he drew with them at home and where's the other game against him? West Brom, where are you? There we go, beat him 3-1. So, I'm sure we'll be happy with that. The team that sacked him managed to get a win and a draw against them. So, to be honest, he's done quite well. Managed to get him 13th. Let's see if he can improve on that in the next season. So, we finally made it to the end of Season 3. That was really took a long time to holiday that season. I don't know why, but... Anyway, if anyone's still here watching, well done for a start. Um, but anyway, let's have a look how he has done on his second season at Watford, or his first full season at Watford. Oh, interesting. He has moved to Wolves. So that is very interesting. Let's have a look at his history. And see what has gone on there. Right, so he got... Did he leave Wolves? Let's go to Watford. Have a look. Um, I really wasn't expecting this. So Steve Bruce is now the Watford manager. Managers. Right, so what happened here then? So Mel left on the 19th of November 2015. So that was about half of the season. He left and obviously went to Wolves. Um, so, first of all, let's see who he signed in his last season at Watford. If I can find where Watford are, there they are, Thames. So, the signs he made. He bought a lot of players. For, uh, going up to £6.76 million. Pounds, including Danny Lafferty, Morris Edu from West Ham, Jordan Spence, Barry Bannon, some decent signers there. He sold quite a few players, but Tokyo, Danny Drinkwater went for 2.2 million. He only just sold, he only just bought him the season before. So that's a strange one. He sold Xtran to Wolves. He's now the Wolves manager, so I'm guessing he's bought him himself. But again, making a lot of money. Only spending 6 million and making 19. So he is. This the last two seasons, the, the club will have made so much money. Um, let's see how he was doing when he left. So he left in November. November is there. They were doing decently to be fair. Um, I'd say they were about mid-table at that point. I can't really tell. But they left and went to Wolves. So let's have a look how he's done with Wolves. So anyway, first of all, see where Wolves are. Wolves in the Premiership, that is mental. 
That means they've got back to back promotions. But again, just as he did in his first season with West Brom, he's come 19th and got his team relegated. So let's have a look. He joined in November. So let's see, first of all, what transfers he made. Obviously, we've joined him in November. I'm not sure what players here he actually signed. But he hasn't signed that many players or for that much money. Chris Wood being the most expensive at 4.6 million. He hasn't sold anyone. Or for any money, anyway. Um, but let's have a look. He started in November. So let's see what they did after he took over. Right, he took over in November and had an absolutely dreadful start, losing all of those games there. Then he went on a decent run. Had a good run towards the end of the season there. But a loss on the last day of the season to Stoke. Left him in 19th place. Only just missing out, to be fair, by four points on safety uh, but and if he lost to Stoke on the last game of the season which meant that they went above him so he wouldn't have come 18th if he'd done well against Stoke so, yeah so that's how he's done it's very interesting in fact he's moved club so often he uh, moved every season to a new club thank you for watching uh, it has been quite interesting this one um, I think that the ones about players will be a bit more interesting to watch and a bit more interesting to do as well. There'll be more things to look at like stats and goals and that kind of thing. But thank you to everyone who's watched. If you do like this kind of video, please leave a like. If you haven't already subscribed. And if, if this kind of video isn't successful, as well just to, to add, I've got a new kind of idea that I'm thinking of. So if this doesn't get many likes or many views, then maybe I'll do a, a future of football kind of thing. I know work is based on that kind of thing, so it's kind of copying in, but something where I'll just holiday into the future and just see what happens in the future years of football. And I could do a few episodes, like going a year at a time or two years at a time or whatever, just see what happens in the future of football. Or I could do some database changes, like put teams in different leagues. And then, skip through to the future, um, obviously it's all your choice, if you feel that would be a good idea then do comment below, and please if you do like this current kind of experiments kind of thing, then do like the video, and if you've got any suggestions as well for other ideas then please do feel free to comment and I will use them in future videos. All your um, feedback and everything is really I do read it also please do comment if you want got any questions or anything you want to tell me then please do comment anyway I'll see you in my next video goodbye